hello what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is emmanuel well we're gonna learn how to scroll through a large canvas today before we step into the tutorial make sure you smash the like button click the subscribe button and pop the notification bell now let's get into the video to this video welcome back guys normally we would want our canvas to be bigger so we'll have to implement the scrolling functionality on it okay so first of all the way it is now if i run this it's just like this it's not bigger so we have to make it bigger okay so first of all we need to make the scroll region for our canvas object big so how do we do that we use the scroll region attribute to achieve that um where's the, okay we're gonna put it here so we're gonna put comma so we're gonna come and do scroll region okay it goes to this and now we're gonna provide where you want your canvas to extend from and to so i want it to extend from the top left corner of my screen okay to um let me do 800 on the x and 800 on the y so where the control b it's gonna be way bigger 800 okay let me change this to something big 1000 1000 the control b now this way that is what it is our canvas but we cannot scroll through that okay what if i change this to 800 i do control b now you see this is covered by 100 so before we can see it we are going to need we can in fact we can't even see it because that's where our scroll region starts from so we're going to change that back to zero but before we can see the other part of this scroll region 1000 we need to add our scroll bars so but now to make our converse scroll label let's uh, let's create scroll bars for that i'm going to do that just beneath this let's put this on row of zero and colon of zero of course that's where it is by default right now so yeah we're gonna create the scroll bars let's call it because this this scroll vertical scroll and then we're gonna say tk the scroll bar okay then we're gonna run it from root now we need to specify what this particular one is for so when, we, when i say v i'm referring to to the vertical okay or you can call it x scroll which whatever you wish to call it um let me just call it y scroll okay why yeah, that's vertical whatever you wish to call it so y scroll so we're gonna say tk that's for y that is vertical okay y vertical like it's just from top to bottom so we need to tell this one what it is of course this is just a variable name doesn't explain what this is so this is a scroll but we need to make sure our code knows that it's vertical okay so we're gonna say vertical and then we're gonna come back to that so we're gonna control shift d <coughs> Sorry about that guys i'm gonna do x now i'm gonna make this horizontal horizontal now you need to tell this that we are, we are connecting it to our widget so our canvas widget so we're gonna say command equals to canvas dot y view is as simple as that and then we're gonna come and say command equals to canvas dot x view that's how it is we have our scroll bars connected to this we need to configure our canvas with that for that to be able to work well if you run it now let's see what we've got yeah so we need to put this somewhere so this is also a widget so we need to put it somewhere we need to make it visible with our directory manager <coughs> i'm sorry about that guys looks like i got something in my throat now to do that we're going to do y screw so this y screw i want to put it somewhere um wow i've got a lot of windows there I'm gonna put this somewhere around here, which means it's gonna be on row zero, colon one. Okay, so I'm gonna do the grid equals to row zero, colon one, colon equals to one. I'm gonna control shift D, bring it down, change this to X scroll. Now this is gonna be on row one, col row one, colon zero. But now I want this to, to just, I don't want it to just be somewhere just there so i want you to stick to the edges of for the, this one i'm going to make it stick to the okay so we have east here and we have um okay we have north. Uh, okay so that will be the center okay we're going to use n north south for the center for this one okay so if you know the current point that's what i was trying to visualize so we have our north here our south here so it's going to be somewhere at the center of that and for this it's going to be at the bottom right so that's going to be um east west right east west north south so that'll be 
east, west, north, south, east, west. Okay, so that will be sticky on the horizontal. So that will be east, west. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing here. That's east and west. So this east, west, so it's going to be sticky along that place. So it's going to take the O's with the edge of east of this region. It's going to be sticky to the edge of the container. And the width is going to stick it to the... So let me just show what I mean if I do control B. Now, as you can see, this is going to be sticky from here up to this point, to this edge here. And this is going to be sticky from here up to this point. But since there's nothing scrollable now, okay, there's something there, as you can see. It's showing... Uh, oh my goodness okay so as you can see we have a, an issue here we have to scroll from the beginning so we need to fix that okay but now you see we have that this is what i want you to do but if i scroll it has to go to back so we need to configure that configure that our canvas to do to make sure we fix that we're going to come here and say canvas the configure or config whichever you choose now we need to tell our command our our escrow command okay so on x scroll we want it to be our scroll x dot set okay so this way we're going to fix that issue so i said telling our canvas widget our escrow command for the scrolling on x axis remember this is a scroll region 1000 by 1000 0 to 1000 okay so we need to tell this let's scroll this because it's scroll x dot set so it knows when we scroll and doesn't just take us back to the beginning so I'm gonna do the same thing for Y scroll command, and that's gonna be scroll Y. Yeah, scroll. Wow. Y scroll dot set. I thought I see I did as scroll. You see, pardon me for that. Just say scroll, I scroll. So I do control B. That should fix it hopefully. Oh, I think it has even fixed as you can see. It now knows. You see, uh, the size of this is now a little bigger. So now I have this here, and I can go down. I can bring this back here. So that's one thousand by one thousand. Go back up. Okay, as you can see, and you can increase it to whatever you want. So that's how we connect our scroll bar to the canvas object with the command attribute. Now, lastly, we can also make sure that our canvas size contains the contains all the canvas items. So in this case, as you can you can see, we just have our scroll region to 1000 by 1000 but what if, if i told you that we can make our scroll region to be the total size of all our widgets so all we have to do is just come at the bot to the bottom of the code and do canvas.config or configure whatever you wish to use then we say scroll region is equals to our canvas dot b box of all so now this is going to return the coordinates this needs but coordinates containing all of our uh, canvas items so if i control c let me comment this and print that out print and press this no run on control v to print so now let me put the other bracket there i do control b as you can see this is the total size of our widgets with all the elements of our canvas item our canvas widget with all the items in it now if i do this here on comment this now, so our canvas item scroll region is going to be the scroll region of all the element items in it. But as you can see, no items extends past this, so we don't have anything here. So, what I can do is um, this line extend it a lot so much. So, where's the line? Okay, so for instead of using 50, I'm going to use 600, 600, and okay, I can leave that that way. Sorry, guys. 600 by 600. Very control B. Now, as you can see, we can scroll there because of this 600 by 600. As you can see, now I know that works. So, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, then you should give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my next epic content. Guys, you don't want to miss out. Most of guys, peace out.